Okay, so now we're ready to calibrate. So go ahead and show us how to calibrate, Brian. All right, to use this new method that we've talked about in the previous slides, uh, this tracker, I don't know if you can see it right now, it has a local GPS lock. However, we don't have a rocket set up anywhere, so we're not gonna get packets from the rocket to track anything. But what we can do when it says it's waiting for a rocket lock, we, we can push the button on the back, and I'm just using a little piece of wire here, and you'll hear it beep, and then it actually skips past waiting for rockets and goes into compass mode, which is probably a little difficult to see out here. But now it's in the regular mode where you could track your rocket or you could do the turnover thing and get the GPS coordinates, either of those. If you are in either of those two screens, then if you push the button on the back, it will go into calibration mode. Now, as we talked about the, in the slides, what we need to know when we're calibrating this is where the magnetic field of the Earth is coming in and, or going out if you're in the southern hemisphere. And we checked it out here, and this direction here is north, and that direction there is south. So that means that the magnetic field here where we're at, if we look at our inclination map, and all across the United States, it's pretty much the same, but the field's gonna be coming in at an angle about like this right here. Uh, it's a 60, 50, 60 degree angle up from the surface of the earth. And so what we need to do is we need to align each side of this, we're doing a six point calibration. We need to align each side of this box with the magnetic field and we will get the maximum or the minimum values we need to calibrate the compass in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the button on this and calibrate it. And as we talked before about the beeps in this thing, we used to have you turn directions and everything else when it was beeping. We're not gonna do that anymore. When I first push the button on this, it is going to start beeping for about 10, 12 seconds or something like that. And then it'll stop beeping and beep every 10 seconds after that, but only one time. The only one we really care about is the end beeps. Once it gets to the end and it's done calibrating, we're gonna have to face it to the north like we did before and we'll know when to do that when it starts continually beeping again and then we just hold it facing north. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it on this one and it, you can actually go a lot faster but we haven't changed the calibration routine in this so it, we're gonna have a lot of extra time. So I just heard it beep so now it's gonna go into calibration mode. It says compass calibrating on there and it's beeping. So since we know here's the magnetic field all we have to do is face this face and kind of rock it around a little bit. We're not going to set up any, you know, complicated angle measurement stuff. We kind of, you can tell. Okay, and so we're just going to kind of rock it around on this side into the magnetic field. We're going to turn it and do the side here. And we'll just rock it around into the magnetic field. We're going to do the back, rock it around into the magnetic field on all six sides. It's a six point calibration. Okay, and then we have to do this surface and this surface also. Those are the x-axis, and the easiest way to do those is just kind of spin it in little circles here. And if you keep it aligned with this, then you'll be getting the values that we need to calibrate it. Okay, now that would be all the spinning you need to do to calibrate this, but now we have to wait until we hear the beeps start going continuous again. And you know, if you're bored, you can keep doing it a little more on each side. You don't really have to, but uh, what's important is that you get the faces of these sides kind of lined up with the magnetic field. And that's all we really need to do instead of all the spinning and everything. Now it's I hear it beep a few times, so we'll just wait until it starts doing its a lot of beeps again at the end. Um, it usually takes about a minute, a minute and a half to get to that point. Yes, okay. about a minute and a half. And as you can see, if, if I'm not spinning at all over the place, then now here it is, I can hear it beeping. So what I'm going to have to do is hold it flat with the screen facing up and face it north. And once it stops beeping, it will be calibrated and it'll go back into tracking mode. There, it's, it's done. So now we have a calibrated simple tracker that was a lot easier than all the spinning and twisting and everything else that we had to do with the old method. Okay, well that sounds pretty simple. Yeah. And one way you can check to see if you're right is you can put it in the compass mode, which it's in now, and okay. face it north, and the arrow should be pointing north, and the north indicator should be north. And then if you turn 90 degrees, you should be able to get okay. it to go, you know, west and turn.
turn this way and you can see it goes south. This one's calibrated really well, you can see. Well, I don't know if you can see, but... <laughs> okay. I can and, see. <laughs> yeah. You can see it's on the, on the lines there. If we turn it this way, it's on the line there. If we turn it this way, it's on that way. If we turn it this way, it's pointing north that way. So that's the whole calibration procedure then. And then you'll actually be able to attract your rockets a lot better if you get a good, good calibration. Okay. Well, thank you, Brian. And, uh, yeah. That's the simple tracker calibration procedure. The new one. <laughs>